Hey YouTube, <laughs> this is my queen's eye back with another video, back with another message. So listen, so I'm in here, right? I'm in my apartment and I'm asleep, okay? Get into a good sleep too. And I hear an alarm going off, but it's not the regular smoke alarm in, in your house or in your apartment. It's not that alarm that's that's beeping. Nobody is cooking in your in your home. Nobody is smoking in your home. And this loud alarm is going off. To where you're like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Some of you could have neighbors that are... Um, so you can live in like an apartment building. And you have neighbors that are um, like way behind on rent. And... They could be getting put out or they could be going through some kind of trouble with the landlord, right? And they have children, you have children. So it's 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 like why would you even put yourself in a situation to where you're causing mishaps for yourself as well? Because if if this is a neighbor that is is on the verge of being evicted, you're already in danger's way. So why would you cause more danger to yourself and others because of what you put yourself in? through or put yourself in in the beginning <laughs> I hope that that made some sense to y'all because the way that that just came out I hope it really made sense to y'all this could be the type of neighbors that always want to take the credit for something and it doesn't even matter what the credit is A real boastful like energy. So you cause the mishap. And then. You try to flip it. I just scratched my forehead. I wish y'all could have just seen my face. But. Because I felt my own facial expression. This alarm you might be 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 um, experiencing right now is is it's trying to trigger you, whatever that alarm is. It's trying to trigger you. It's trying you. It's trying to make you make a a hasty move. Shit, for some of you, somebody could have already made a move too fast and and they're triggered by by the result. <laughs> but see, you already know that even when this alarm come, you already, even if you are really semi unprepared, <laughs> you're going to know what to do, where to go, what to grab, what to leave. So you can get the fuck out of harm's way because of somebody else's shit. <laughs> Or 
or the most high your your ancestors your guides the angels like all of them they protect you they guide you to make the right move You remain calm though. Stay calm. Somebody could be trying to place fear in you. <laughs> but in the end, like I said, you caused the mishap and then you you love to take the credit for it. What the fuck do you get out of that? <laughs> But making yourself look stupid. You're you you are a quick thinker. People think you be lacking, but you but you don't. That could be a good thing and a bad thing. <laughs> it's a good thing for you, but it's a bad thing for them. Because in the end, if they're trying to make you look like something that you're not, they always expose themselves. Trying to play the victim role. The victim role, even. Like, you're exposing yourself. And then we'll think people don't catch what you saying speaking of be mindful of of house fires do have a plan in place I just saw 7-Eleven in my mind's eye that number could be significant but seven, sevens represent looking at things in a higher perspective from a different point of view. And with the 11, that's, that's a double number. And that's so funny because in the Kipper deck here, even though this is the bad health card, in the Kipper deck, the seven is, I believe, the message card. And the 11 is the sudden wealth. Somebody could be getting a message about some sudden wealth and it's gonna be very alarming to you. <laughs> I just saw the message of concern. Somebody could could be getting a payout of some sort. Somebody could have made that situation happen to, to, to get you caught up. Like maybe somebody is, is looking for you and they don't really know like your exact address. So somebody could have made something happen and you acted the way that you did. Your reaction to it. 
it could have gotten you noticed. Like somebody could have actually saw where you came out of. Like the door you came out of. Be mindful. This could be anybody. It could be family. And if you're not dealing with people right now, it definitely could be them. Because these are the motherfuckers that's, that put themselves in a situation that they're trying to make you look guilty of. But they are, in fact, are. All you have to do is just listen. <laughs> listen. Let me see. Love and ancestors are my highest good, my highest light, my highest frequency. Please help me to channel these messages clear and concise with truth and clarity. What messages do we need to see? We got official person out here. Message. Listen. <laughs> Eleven thirty-three was on the phone. For some of you, something has happened for the last time and you're moving on. Somebody is getting a message from an official person. It could be about um, about some sudden wealth because I mentioned that earlier. What else? Somebody has to go. Somebody could have been seeing signs that they should have been made a move and they didn't. Until one last thing happened. also got an official person that that is making one final attempt to reach out and they're moving on or they're letting somebody know that they're moving on Two seventy nine, two two seven nine could be significant. Somebody could have been born on that day. We got community right here. Then we got thief at the bottom of the deck with main mail message of concern. <laughs> A main male, a main male is the one that's getting this message of concern here. Or he got this, this message of concern. 
this could this could be the one that's that's also coming towards you to see if you know something. An official person could be bringing you some news about a main male stealing. You could have a family with this person, with the community card right here. doing a lot of hard work and trying to keep something from coming to you. Somebody is trying to stay married to someone in hopes of with the expectation right here. They're trying hard to stay in a marriage here. To receive some unexpected income that belongs to you. Somebody could be also wanting to come in to take some of this hard work off of your back by being in a partnership with you. Take it how it resonates. But something here, the way this, the way this coin is like almost, like it's almost there. It's almost there. Try not to let things really trigger you. I know for some of you that's easier said than done. Something is really closer than you think here. And somebody trying to come up in here on some shit here. Eighteen minutes even was on the phone. The moon card. <laughs> it's a lot going on behind the scenes. With this person, with this group, whoever this community is, whoever this main male is. They all could be thieves here. Somebody could be the child of a, um, Like the child of an emperor, the child of someone who, um, 1909, someone who like really takes pride in what they stand for, 1919, what they stand for, who they are, and not even so much as to have others see you in a certain light but you already carry this light so they already see it they already see it and they want to take it from you but it's like you you can't take that you can't take that because it's just in you <laughs> Whoever you are is just in you. It's 
it's really just in you to do right and it's not to say that you don't make mistakes it's not to say that you don't have flaws you just know how to carry that shit <laughs> you really make people feel less than because of the energy that they decide to be in So they have to make themselves the center of attention here. <laughs> What's this community card? What the concern? Something is ending for a mature man here. Quickly. What's the thief part? What's the thief part, please? got the house somebody could be trying to rob you so this is what I mean somebody set some shit up for it to happen somebody know that you about to come into some kind of unexpected income here and they trying to get close to you so they can get so they can get you be mindful some of you could be getting ready to get a message saying that you need to move before you get this unexpected income. <laughs> and you're going to have it. You're going to have enough. The mature man popped out. this message of concern here an older man got whiff of somebody trying to steal something from you for some of you it could be a home for some of you it could be some unexpected income what's the message of concern here Privileged lady. Somebody know that they are not going to get another chance with you. They also know that somebody is moving the fuck on here. Somebody could really think like you're you're very smart. They could be worried about you. Child, false person, family room. Adjudication, main female courthouse.
For some of you, like I said, you can have a family with this person. For some of you, they could be getting their own child involved in this shit and trying to take something from you. But with judication, main female and courthouse right here, it's a no-go. <laughs> it's a no-go. Bad health, occupation, coughing. My goodness. Somebody figure like if they could if they could get you to not be in a position to work or to make money <laughs> so they could end things for you with the coffin card here they gonna rob you that's how they feel like they feel like if they can't make you sick, if they can't make you lose your job, if they can't make you lose your life, now they're going to try to set you up for you to get robbed. Or this is what these people have done. Caused so many distractions in your life to where they thought they really could keep you down. <laughs> For some of you, this could be this could be somebody you were married to. And they know you moving the fuck on. You know that you completely did it some shit with them with the coffin card here. Yeah, and then we got the wealthy man at the bottom of the deck. That's the match to the privileged lady. Somebody could be stuck in a situation um, with a privileged lady that has stepped out on them. This person could have tried to set this wealthy man up. Somebody thought that they made the right choice dealing with somebody. This person could have gotten this wealthy man's family killed, family sick, made family lose jobs. Or trying to slow down some kind of, trying to slow down some kind of business opportunity here with the unexpected income occupation bad health they tried to end it for you they tried to end the marriage they tried to end a divine masculine divine feminine here causing a bunch of false ass alarms in people lives and shit <laughs> For some, they going to prison too. They going to prison. They play too fucking much. I remember somebody told me a long time ago. You'll always lose playing someone else's game. And unfortunately, that came from somebody who sexually molested me when I was a kid. That was my mother's husband. And the, the ironic thing is, <laughs> they lost 3003. <laughs> they lost playing and my fucking energy 
playing with my fucking money <laughs> and playing with my livelihood. But see, you don't play fucking games. You keep this shit all the way 100. This is why all of this shit was, was being done to you. Or planned out to be done to you. And if any of these things have happened over here, my condolences to whatever it could have been that you lost dealing with these people. Somebody needs to put put somebody needs to pay some money on a house. Could be like property taxes. Or somebody got a house in your name and didn't pay the fucking property taxes on that shit. For you to lose the house. People could be trying to figure out why a privileged lady and a wealthy man is so wealthy. And they have people believing that they are one way. But they are thieves. Shit, for some of you, these people could be living in a house that's yours right now. Not even paying taxes on it. Betrayal. <laughs> it can't go. Untouchable. Insurance policy. All I did was crack the deck open. Insurance policy. So this is definitely... This is definitely about some money here. Or what, whatever was left in a policy for you. Next card say out of moves. They done tried everything already. And the shit did not work. Somebody could be getting sued uh, for pain and suffering. Or somebody could be getting a payout for pain and suffering. That fucking people put you through. You could have been struggling a lot. And these people using your money, spending your money, buying houses, buying cars. For some of you, you may not drive. For some of you, it is hard for you to, 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 to stay up on shit because it's always something. But you always manage to make it. And that's why this gift that's getting ready to come is going to be so worth it. And these people really going to be experiencing, experiencing some pain and suffering here. Because <laughs> they can't go. They're going to have to sit the fuck down. We got undercover here. Somebody could drive a white van here. False advertisement. Yeah, these people betrayed to be something that they weren't. They betrayed themselves to be official, but they're fucking thieves.
somebody know that this money or this home or this car, whatever it is, this business, whatever it is, somebody know that it doesn't belong to these thieves. They gonna have to get this shit back. <laughs> While they have to, while they have to put in, put in hard work to stay in a partnership, to stay in a, in a, in a situation shit, <laughs> you gonna make that shit look easy. You gonna make that shit look easy. And a lot, for a lot of you, this is ex-lovers realizing that, like, really nobody compares to you. But you found your match. You found your match. We got a government agency right here. <laughs> they can't go. A cry for help. Trust fund money. Wow. Living benefits. Missing or hidden documentation here. Listen, these motherfuckers is getting locked up. <laughs> Somebody left you a trust. Somebody could have been getting money off of a living benefit for you. And they needed to, to send in some information and they didn't. They're out of fucking moves. The, the coffin card is already out here. It's over. They're getting ready to go through a major transformation right now. Like, like people are really about to go from being on top to being at the bottom and those that are considered at the bottom are getting ready to be at the top and these motherfuckers can't not go and they gonna be begging and pleading for you to help them you don't even have no more moves you over it <laughs> You done experienced the struggle. You done experienced having to move. Having to keep switching jobs. Not having a car. There was a lot of fucking dark ass magic being done over your life. And once I learned that, I had to switch my whole M.O. <laughs> My whole M.O. But still remaining who I am though. I had to change how I moved. Who I moved around. And you really fucked they game up. Right? Because listen, what I said. <laughs> you'll lose playing someone else's game. <laughs> They lost playing with you. They lost. This this main male that's going to be crying out for help too. Probably all of them. But some of you, a few of these people ain't even going to show no remorse. Or at least they're not going to show it to you. And that's cool too. <laughs> yeah. They missed the memo. You don't give a fuck. <laughs> Get that shit back. I can't make this shit up, yo. <laughs> Get that shit back. So, guys, that is the message right there. 
You keep finding yourself in a situation where it's like, God damn, what the fuck? People trying to distract you. People trying to get you to really act out of a, a character that's not you. But the thing is, even if they feel like you acting out of character, you are really being yourself. And you are humbly proud. Because you deal with people that want to argue with you when they are in the wrong. <laughs> Until you check they ass and then it's like, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. That's all you can say though. <laughs> like you're really a truth speaker here. And people don't like that shit. They don't like it at all. But that's a personal problem. That don't have nothing to do with you. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Um, I had to put that out. That was like that loud as alarm. Okay. There's something going on right here. <laughs> so guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I will talk to you on the next one. Peace.